my name is Love Star. Welcome to episode 6 of my Fairy Core Let's Play. Today is going to be a more peaceful episode, as I'll be doing some farming and building. I also take another step into the Twilight Forest at the end, so stay tuned for that. Please be sure to like and subscribe to see more Fairy Core content, and I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Hello guys, so I know we're not even home right now, but I wanted to do something before we started with today's activities and that is actually to go find a dark oak forest because I want to find a very rare mob that is only going to be spawning for about a day or so because as soon as October is over, that mob is not going to spawn anymore. So I'm going to try to find it and I know there's a dark oak forest somewhere around here and oh my god, not you. Get away. Stupid freaking mandragoras, dude. Oh, they dropped something. <laughs> a garden gnome? Oh my god, that's so cute. Okay, we're gonna place that down. But anyway, you might have noticed that it's actually snowing. And it definitely, <laughs> it usually doesn't snow in the oak forest. But as you know, we're in the winter season right now. So yeah, the weather, ooh, oh my god. <laughs> the weather is a little bit crazy. And yeah, it's actually kind of cool because um, <laughs> one thing I didn't realize until like literally this episode was that I didn't have my um, my weather toggled. Like my weather was disabled. So it wasn't raining at all or anything. And I was like, oh my god, I cannot believe that that was off. Um, so I think I turned that off while I was still setting up this world and I just completely forgot to turn it back on so that's kind of stupid of me but now it's back and oh my god look it's another one of these white ferrets hi I still have no rabbits to give them so we cannot take them home just yet but anyway look at this we found the dark oak forest so I'm looking for a uh, a gorgagora I think it's called and oh my god <laughs> there's one right here look how big she is oh my gosh you are huge so this is one of the um halloween mobs that got added to uh monsters and girls and i really wanted to take one <laughs> home with me so i think we tame her with bone meal so this is oh i fell in a hole this is actually called a jacko jacko gorgagora oh my god help um so i think Oh wait, no, you need to tame it with candies, not freaking bone meal. <laughs> Oops, okay. Um, let me put some stuff away. And you might have noticed that my backpack is a little bit bigger, and that's because I changed the uh, size in the config file because I was getting so tired of that tiny ass backpack, man. But anyway, so we gotta give her candies, which is dye and sugar. So, um, let's see. Can I trap you in a hole so you don't run off? No, don't escape! Don't escape! I'm trying so hard not to accidentally hit you. Okay, if you just stay in there, I'll give you some candy and we can we can go home. I'm really sorry to do this to you. Just don't go anywhere. Okay, let's go try to find some um, sugar cane and well, the dye part is not gonna be difficult at all. <laughs> we just need to find some sugar cane, so... Oh god, this is gonna be really, really interesting. I cannot believe that I misread the freaking the description of how to tame her. Okay, there's a river over here. Let's see if there's any sugar cane. Oh, I think I see some. Oh, yay! Look, it's all the way over there. Okay, this wasn't so difficult. Luckily. How much should we get? Um... All right, we got six, so that means we can make six sugars, and that means we can make 12 candies, because I think it's two candies per uh, recipe. Let me just double check. Yep, okay, so hopefully we get lucky and she doesn't have to eat <laughs> 12 whole candies, but yeah, so I really wanted to do this really quick just because it's on a time limit and it is October, tw uh, it is October 30th today, so... We're running out of time and I really wanted this Jacko Gorgagora because she's gonna not be spawning anymore after after October ends. So let's go back. I made a little torch trail. That was very smart this time. And then we can go home and continue with the rest of today's activities, which is gonna be actually a little bit more chill. 
Um, last episode was pretty crazy because we did go to the nether <laughs> and caving. So this episode, I wanted to give you guys something a little bit more peaceful. Um, so after this, we're going to actually do some farming because I still have like no proper food source. And as you know, I can't eat meat technically. <laughs> so I need to really get my farming situation covered and I'm gonna make some farms and start planting my um my farmer's delight crops and after that I want to make a sheep farm and I'll show you why but let's let's just focus on this for now so okay Jacko Gorgagora please wait I forgot to get the dye um hold on let me just get a little bit of this and hopefully this gives us dye there we go Get this candy going. Okay, we need one more. You were the last flower to be sacrificed. Okay. Oh, you only took one. Awesome. Okay. Jacko, Jacko Gorgigora. That is such a hard name to say. Okay, come on. Let's go home. She's so freaking big, dude. Actually, I think this is just a medium one. I think she gets bigger. There's like three different sizes. There's a small one, which I- Oh! Oh, look! It's a tiny! Oh, he's so cute! Oh my gosh! Oh, he's so adorable! <laughs> it's so small! So I'm not actually sure if this is a big one or a medium one. She looks pretty big, but you never know. Alright, so uh, I gotta get home now, so let's see how, how quickly this is gonna um, go. Oh, look, a bunch of dryads. Mm. Alright, well, we made it home. That did not take too long, but I did have to turn on my coordinates. Alright, so, we got our Gorgigoras home, and I guess I'm gonna leave you guys to name these as well. So we have the big Gorgigora and the teeny tiny, and I have a feeling that, I just think it makes sense that this is like the child of this girl. So, it's like mother and daughter, and they're so cute. <laughs> but they definitely need another home, because there's no way that these two girls are fitting in my little bedroom. So, um, I'm actually just gonna make them sit here for the time being because I don't have a place to put them. But here, you can go sit with your mother and I actually have to give- I actually have to tell you guys the name of these cuties. So, I'm actually gonna take them up to our bedroom and just have them safely inside with the other girls. So, come on, let's go! And we still have our Halloween decoration up, but I guess next episode we can take them down since it's gonna be the end of October. Oh, there you are. Oh, you're so cute. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. You know what? Maybe we should make them the uh, little collar tags while I reveal the name. So we're gonna need a little bit of copper and some chains. So I have some copper in here, luckily. Um, so I'm having them follow me around right now, but I'm kind of nervous because I just hope nothing comes creeping up on us and kills our poor little mushroom girls because that would make me really sad. Um, but uh, I don't think I have any extra chains. Oh, I do have one. Okay, let me make a few more. Okay, so we need three chain- uh, three collar tags. So, the first name is actually gonna be Zelda, and it's gonna be for the twins. So, you are gonna be Zelda, and the second twin is gonna be called Sara. So this was a really awesome name suggestion by Tasha, and where is the other one? Hello? <laughs> Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. So this is gonna be Zara. There you go. So yeah, I really, really like this uh, twin name suggestion because I just think that such a fitting like combo. And also Zelda from The Legend of Zelda is such a cute name. So, and now we're gonna name the warped girl. So she's gonna be called Sparkle. And <laughs> I know that name is a little bit silly, but I just think it's so cute. And she is just so bright and sparkly. I just think it's quite fitting. So yeah, that's gonna be what they're gonna be called. So we got Zara, Zelda, and Sparkle, and I'm gonna take them home inside the bedroom because that's like the safest place I have 
for all my mushroom girls. So come on. Get in here. Yes. Okay, I don't know why you get stuck in the door. There you go. Come on, Zelda. Come on. There you go. Okay. Now you guys can sit. I think they're all staying, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, Spook's gonna come with me because Spook, she's been managing to keep herself alive. So I hope I didn't just jinx it. Knock on wood. Okay. Anyway, let's get started with the actual projects for today. So I'm going to clear out my inventory and then we're going to do a little bit of farming. So I'm going to let you guys just relax and watch me do this silently. And then we're going to continue with some other little activities. And I am going to do something for the Twilight Forest today. So stay tuned for that. Oh god, it's gonna snow here, and our freaking magical forest is gonna become a snowy wonderland. I am a little bit nervous, but also a little excited. <laughs> this is the little pond I just made for our rice, so I'm gonna go ahead and plant that really quickly. Rice is gonna be really awesome to grow because there's just so many recipes that I want to make. Especially the salmon sushi which is one of my favorite foods in real life. So yeah, I can't wait to try it. So I hope this rice grows and you know, I should probably check if there's like a season for it. Okay, so the fertile seasons are summer and autumn, but it's okay, it'll grow just slow. <laughs> we also have to plant tomatoes, which is summer, so that's also not good. And potatoes spring okay i'm guessing nothing is going to be infertile during winter so this kind of sucks but you know what it's okay at least we'll have it going while we're waiting for the winter to end so then once it's going to be spring everything is going to start growing and we're going to be prepared so i think i'm going to make i wanted to make some of the farms kind of like in this field so i think i'm going to probably um i think i want to make another one like here and then we can connect the pathway from like these two plant, uh, these two farms to the ones that we're going to put over here. So I'm going to bone meal these. Ooh, cabbage is actually fertile during winter. So we should probably plant that too. Hey guys, quick note. If you'd like to support me and my art, be sure to check out my Etsy store. I sell clothes, accessories, and stationery all featuring my original artworks. Thanks so much and let's get on with the video.
Okay, our potato farm is now done, but I'm gonna put a little slab over the water so it doesn't freeze over. I also put the water under a mushroom for our cabbage farm just so it's safe and won't freeze. Yeah, because winter is getting a little bit rough out here. As you can see, everything is just covered in snow, but you know, we're getting through it. I think I'm gonna make an onion farm and that should be the last one for now. We also can make a tea farm, but I feel like for that I want to make like a really proper like little like tea area with like a tea house and you know something a little bit more cute. This is kind of just like the agriculture and it's very small scale, but you know, it's super adorable. I also put some moss down here. Oh, oh, ow. <laughs> and some berries as you can see. Okay, I also planted a few pumpkins just to get them growing, but we probably should make a proper farm for them in the future. But for now, I think this is a really good start. I really wanted to make this look really natural, so I hope I succeeded in that. You guys let me know what you think of all the little farms. And I also made this really cute like archway um, because some of you guys wanted me to use these purple leaves and I thought that that would be a great idea. So I wanted to you know, just make something really cute, like kind of like an entrance to our magical forest. So yeah, I placed some vines, so hopefully they grow and it's going to look a lot nicer with those um, more, you know, grown out. And it'll look a little bit more secretive, you know, like this is our little secret grove. And yeah, so now I wanted to make a sheep pen, but I wanted to tell you guys why. So with the backpack. This is how much space I have now because I did configure it um, because before we only had one freaking row and that was just ridiculous. So we also have this customization which um, you actually can unlock different types of backpacks by doing little quests. So I wanted to get this really cute sheep plush. <laughs> um, so we need to shear 250 sheep to unlock this backpack and we've only sheared 40 so I think it's time for us to make a little sheep pen and there are so many sheep roaming like everywhere here so i think that's going to be pretty simple to at least herd them um but we do have our chicken pen here so i wonder if i should just like make this part of the forest kind of like where we keep our animals um so i think i'm gonna first start off by making something um you know what i think i want to let you guys give me an idea of what i should actually do whoa <laughs> i did not know there was a cave right there um what i should actually build the sheep pen kind of like around you know like what kind of theme or you know i i want to give you guys a little bit of creative freedom here to help me decide what we should do with the sheep pen but for now i'm just gonna make like a little fenced in area for some sheep and you guys let me know in the comments what kind of like structure you want me to make for them maybe it could be like uh, you know, honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> so I hope you guys have some good ideas because I honestly am not sure, but I do want to make it quite magical. So, um, all right, I'm going to make some fences because we don't really have many. So I'm going to make it, <laughs> I was just about to say, maybe we should make it out of pink wood, but I think I'm just going to stick to oak. I did gather a little bit of oak before I started recording. So... Okay, I think 31 should be enough. I'm also going to make some um, trap doors. Or not trap doors, uh, fence gates. I don't know why I said trap doors. Okay. So let me put these berries away. We're going to need to get some wheat. And we're going to herd some sheep. And I'm, you know what? I'm going to take Yuna with me. Because I haven't really interacted with Yuna. And luckily, she doesn't go off and killing things. And she... <laughs> So she's not in danger necessarily, so I'm gonna actually take her with me. Alright, so I think I'm gonna build it maybe here around this mushroom. And if you guys want me to keep the mushroom, we can do that. Ah! Oh my god, you freaking stupid thing. I hate you so much. 
Come on, Spook. Help me out here. Yes! There we go. Finally, Spook's actually doing something. Anyway, so let's make a little sheep pen here. But yeah, if you guys want me to get rid of the mushroom or keep the mushroom, it's up to you. I'm oh, that's not dirt. I'm just looking for some ideas on what we can build here for a little sheep. So, yeah, we're basically just keeping them for wool at this point. Because I can't even eat their mutton, so... Um, but yeah, anyway, I also installed, um, some new mods. Um, I installed a different backpack mod. So we have these backpacks, but as far as I know, you can't actually equip them. So I don't really like them that much. Uh, now that I figured out how to configure this one, I think I'm just gonna keep it. But yeah, I did install that. And I installed a mini map mod. And it's, it looks like this. I wanted to have something that looked a little bit more, like you know, RPG-like, kind of like an actual map and not something just sitting like in the corner of the screen because I feel like those kind of maps just kind of, um, they ruin the immersion for me and I didn't really like that. So, um, if you guys have any suggestions for like good minimap mods that aren't too like invasive of how it looks on the screen or at least something that you can like toggle because if I had like a toggleable minimap, that would be really awesome. Um, Get out of the way, Yuna! Anyway, uh, I really wanted to install Antique Atlas, but unfortunately that's not available for 1.19.2, which made me so sad because that one was like, it would have been perfect. It's such a good like looking map and you can carry around a little book with you and everything. It's just so adorable. But yeah, um, I'm not really sure what kind of mini map mod I should install. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Um, I also am aware that I'm not really updating the mod, the mod pack at the moment and I wanted to wait until I actually installed a little bit more um, mods and I also need to fix the title screen because um, someone in my Discord server made like a custom title screen and I wanted to install it but I've yet to do that yet. But once we actually figure all of that out and I maybe install maybe another mod or two just to give the, the new version a little bit of fun. Um, I think I will update it, but I also just like to give you guys the freedom to make the mod pack into what you want it to be. You know, you are free to install new mods or, you know, just play around with the mod pack in your own way and modify it to your liking. Um, I haven't really installed as many mods as I would have liked because, you know, performance issues <laughs> and risking like crashes and corruption. So I haven't installed as many mods as I would have liked. But, you know, it's okay. You guys can install whatever mods you want, and that's totally fine. But I will update the pack eventually. Uh, I'm just kind of waiting until <laughs> something- there's a little bit more fun to, uh, to add on to it. But yeah, so let's go find some sheep. There should be some, like, uh, nearby. I always pass some sheep when we're, like, out- yeah, see? Right there. It's gonna be a little hard to see them because it's so freaking white now, um, uh, with the snow. So I'm gonna see if there's another one. So we can have two. That would be really nice if we had two. Um, it's so hard to see with the snow. Oh my god. Oh, wait. I think there should be some over here. Um, Any sheep? Oh, yay! Here you go. Come on, let's go to the pen. And I gotta pick up that other one over there. But yeah, there's also one more thing I wanted to do this episode. And that is something for the Twilight Forest, as I mentioned earlier. So I kind of, like, researched the mod of how to, like, get started with the, like, progression and everything. And everyone said that the first step was to make a little map thing. Um, come on, sheep. Don't fall behind. There you go. Okay. So I need to go to the Twilight Forest and get a few things. We're gonna need to get a raven feather and torch berries and something else i can check the recipe but yeah we're gonna need to go to the twilight forest and just check it out and see what we can find so where's that other sheep where is that other sheep oh my god where did he go oh my god it's so hard to see <laughs> No, this snow is so annoying. It's also super annoying for building. Dude, where do you go? Oh god, it's turning nighttime. This is not good. 
Oh, there he is. Come on. What are you doing all the way up here? We gotta get you into the, uh, the forest. It's gonna be really nice, I swear. You're not gonna be killed. I promise. There's literally no reason for me to kill these guys. And I guess I also should make a cow farm. But unfortunately, they will have to die <laughs> for the leather. Because I do want to start enchanting soon. I really want to fight the first Twilight Forest boss. But of course, I feel like I'm way too undergeared for that. So I want to try to get at least, at least like diamond armor. And maybe like enchanted diamond armor would be nice. Because I'm scared, guys. I don't know what to expect. I don't know how like hard it's going to be to kill the Naga. I think that's the first boss, right? <laughs> um, yeah. The Naga, so it's it's pretty nerve-wracking, but before we even do any of that, we're gonna need to gear up and also make a map and also find the boss, like the little maze that they live in. We're not gonna focus on that right now, we're just gonna focus on the sheep and getting our map, just some nice peaceful activities because this episode was supposed to be peaceful. <laughs> okay, come on sheep, come on. I really should get like a wolf soon so I can have like a little, little, what, what's it called? Like the wolves that, that or the dogs, the shepherd dogs, you know, the ones that... No, I think that's a type of dog. The ones that, like, herd the sheep and stuff. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'm a little bit stupid. Oh my god, you guys are pooping out eggs outside of the farm. That is not good. Okay, let's breed these two guys, and I'm going to shear them so we can get some more of those statistics going. So now this should be... Like 42? Yes. Okay. I'm really excited. I want to get a sheep plushie. And yeah, let's let's just move on. Because that's basically done for now. I'm probably going to have to work on it in the next episode. Once you guys leave a comment, don't forget. <laughs> okay. But anyway, I'm going to put away some of my stuff here. And then we can go to the Twilight Forest. And since I'm not going to be doing anything crazy, it shouldn't be... Ugh, I, I really hope it's not going to be, like, dangerous. Um, I do need to go into a cave to find some torch berries. So, you never know. <laughs> but, alright. Um, I think I'm gonna go... Oh, we should, put our, we should put our gnome somewhere. Okay. So, I'm gonna place a gnome. Well, obviously, we gotta put it next to the gardens, right? So maybe, like... Maybe, like, here. Oh, it's actually super cute. Okay, let's go sleep. And then we can go to our little magical place. Our little magical uh, area. Which, guys, I'm so excited to work on that. Because it's going to be where we do all of our magic. And I want to make it super special. So it's going to be, like, you know, really, really awesome. And I want, it to, I want it to be super magical and colorful. And yeah, it's just going to be such a fun project to work on. Um, okay, Spook, you can stay. So I'm gonna just leave Spook here so she doesn't like get lost and we're gonna go to the Twilight Forest. I'm so excited. <laughs> we have our little path now so we don't get lost. And something just died on that mushroom and I, I didn't see what it was. That was weird. Okay. I also need to work on my tower still. I have a really- I one of you guys left a really good idea for what I can make under the like little roof. So yeah, and I also need to put like all my books in there. So there's just so many things to work on in this world. But yeah. Okay, so we're back in the Twilight Forest. I'm so excited because this place is so beautiful. But I really hope we don't get lost. So I'm actually gonna place um, some jacaranda trees because this is like the most color contrast we could possibly get. So I think I'm gonna try to stick in like a straight line. Um, we do need to go into a cave to find some torch berries. Oh, ouch. Um, let me just check the recipe really quick. So it was like a... What was, what was it? I think it was this, a blank magic map. So we're gonna need to make a magic map focus. Ooh, we need glowstone. Okay, actually there's a glowstone right outside of our nether portal. So, oh god, but that means we gotta go to the nether portal. <laughs> okay. Oh, but look! Glowberry, I mean, what is it? Torchberry is right here. And there's even some more. So I'm just gonna take some of that. And that's all we need. So now we gotta find a raven and kill it for its feather. Which is a little sad. I don't really want to kill a raven. But I guess we have to. For the sake of magic. It is a it is a, it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. But let's see if we can even find one. Alright, so I'm gonna go into a straight line. So we don't get lost. Okay. I'm gonna try really hard not to get lost. It's gonna be quite a challenge, but... 
I really love the Twilight Forest. Like these, this biome specifically is so pretty. Okay, let's cross the bridge. Or, not the bridge. I mean the water. The little river. And let's see if we can find a raven. I, I don't see any birds here, which is kind of weird. Oh, these are really... Oh no, wait. Can I not take them? <gasps> oh my gosh yes oh my god i need these we're putting this in the overworld okay so we're actually gonna go into a mushroom biome it seems like so maybe there's gonna be something in here let's see what is that what is that oh my gosh what is that cute little thing is that a bunny <laughs> oh my gosh did you guys see its face it was so cute oh it's so tiny such a tiny little creature. Oh my god. I did not know they even had that. What is this? Oh. I don't know. I don't really want to find out. This is not what we're, we're trying to do today. Oh, there's some birds over here. <gasps> Whoa, they're so small and cute. But that's not a raven. Is that a raven? Are you a raven? You look so small. Uh, uh, uh. No, come back! Wait, stop! Where'd it go? Oh my god. Stop flying away. I'm so sorry. Are you a raven? It didn't even drop anything. Okay, let me... I think I saw another one. I feel bad. I'm like a bird hunter right now. I swear there was another one. Oh! It's raining? I didn't know it could rain in the toilet forest. Ugh! No! Stop running away! Stop running away! Oh my gosh. I'm trying to, like, predict where it's gonna go. Oh, dude, I actually- I actually hit that shot. That's crazy. Um, okay, he didn't drop anything. I don't know what the raven is supposed to look like. I feel like they should be bigger. What is this? Is this ob obsidian? That's weird. Wait a minute. Hmm. If I gather that obsidian, I could make a portal. I guess I could just go to the actual portal. It's not a big deal. It's just kind of a, like, it's kind of a trek. Oh, there's a skeleton over there. What? I thought they didn't, I thought the mobs didn't spawn in the, uh, on the surface. That's lame. Whatever, I'm just gonna ignore it. Okay, I don't know what this is either. <laughs> this is such a mysterious place. I don't know what, like, any of it is. I, I did look it up on YouTube and kind of watch, like, a little guide, but... Now I know that some of the places are actually like locked behind progression, I guess. So that spruce forest, I couldn't- I mean not the spruce, like the snowy forest, I couldn't even enter because I didn't like- yeah, this is like way past the progression, so I- I, I shouldn't even go in there. Alright, so- ooh. Whoa! It's like a little pig thing. And look, there's more sheep! Wait, I'm gonna shear you. Does this count? Oh, that does count! Okay. Let me shear these guys. And they gave me colored wool, which is awesome. Alright, there's some more birds. Um, whoa, that's a big tree! Oh my gosh! Whoa! Oh wow. I'm actually gonna turn around because I feel like I'm gonna get lost if I go too far out. So we're gonna- we're gonna turn around and try to go into another direction. I'm really scared because if I get lost, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like, that is just gonna be really bad. So let's go back before we get too ahead of ourselves. And I'm gonna actually go towards the the snowy biome that I went to last time because I believe I saw some birds over there. So maybe we can find a raven. Oh, it's a white bunny. Oh my God, that's so cute. Oh, I think I see it. Oh, that purple totally worked. Okay, so I know where the portal is. I'm actually gonna go to the left because I remember seeing some- Whoa! It's another one of those big trees. I wonder if you, like, mine into it. Does it, like- Is it gonna be hollow? Okay, I gotta find out. I can't believe I didn't even see this earlier. I wanna grow that in the overworld. <gasps> that would be so awesome! I wonder if we can collect its saplings. Oh, I hear cicadas. <gasps> Whoa! Let's go up! 
Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try to get a sapling. I wanna grow this in the overworld. Oh, I got one! A canopy tree sapling. Oh my god, that was so fast. I really hope I can grow this in the overworld and it doesn't take like a trillion bone meal. Cause dude, if I had this tree in the overworld, I would make like a huge tree house and it would be so cool. Whoa. Oh my gosh. What is that? A cicada! I can put it on my head. Oh! But it makes noise. Boo. I don't like that. Or was that mine? Wait, I can't tell. Let me just get out of here. Um, should I jump? Oh, absolutely. Wee! <laughs> I love doing that. Oh my god, that was so fun. Okay. Oh, I hear birds. That is not a raven. Okay, so wait, the portal is... Okay, yeah, it's over there. Let me see if I can put this thing on my head and... Oh, what is this? Oh, whoa, I didn't even know this was a, uh... Like a thing, what? Oh no, it makes noise! Oh dang it, okay, I can't wear that. Um, But I can wear a firefly, I think, so I'm gonna actually just take one of these. Boink! Put you on my head. <laughs> it's so small, but it's so cute, look! And it gonna, it's gonna glow. Yay! Alright, so... Um, that's the snowy fo forest that we went to last time, so I do believe I saw some birds somewhere around here. Yep, I hear them, but that's not a raven. But there's more, there's more sheep over here, so I'm gonna shoot them. Oh, oh! Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Don't be like that! Oh, oh! <gasps> yes! I got a raven feather! Oh, thank god, I didn't want to kill anymore. Okay. We have the feather, now we need to get some glowstones. I don't think I got any during my last nether trip, but I will check before I actually go. Because you, you never know, maybe I did pick up some glowstone. Alright, but now we can leave the Twilight Forest, which is a little bit of a shame because I love it here! It's so pretty! I should totally make a house in here! <gasps> oh my gosh! I should, I should absolutely make a house here. That'd be so cute. Okay, let's go. We're back at home. Oh, and it's... Oh, creeper! Quickly! Okay, there we go. Yuna. I was expecting her to scare him away. Alright, let's go back. I totally forgot that I brought Yuna here. Alright. Hopefully we don't run into anything crazy dangerous. It looks like a winter wonderland in here. It's like so... so cool! And it's still snowing. I feel like it's been snowing and raining like the entire episode. Okay, let's go check on our sheep and see if we can breed them. Nope, not yet, but I can share you, so there you go. Okay, so I have this canopy tree sapling. Um, I really want to plant it, <laughs> but let's see, where should we put it? Probably like somewhere in the heart of the forest. So maybe where there's a clearing. Oh my god, I just fell in a hole. Jesus Christ. Probably here would be a good place to put it. Okay, I'm gonna put it here. Let's see if it grows. Actually, I'm gonna put it right here. I don't know if it's gonna- if it needs like a 4 by or like a 2 by 2 to grow, but I guess we'll just see. Like, I'm just gonna leave it there and see what happens, but... Um, okay. L ah! Freaking stupid, stupid girl. I hate you so much. Oh, there's two of them. Spook! Kill her! Get her! Yes! That's what I'm talking about, Spook. Yes! Good job, Spook. Finally, she's actually useful. Okay. So, let's go check if I have any glowstone. If not, I'm gonna go to the nether. And there's literally glowstone right outside her portal, so it's not a big deal. Oh, yay! Oh, thank god. I'm so glad I don't have to go. Okay, we have glowstone. I'm so relieved. I really didn't want to go. Okay, so now we can make our magic map focus. And we need paper, right? Obviously. Okay, so we actually... With fire, it writes. Ooh. 
Okay, so we actually don't have any um, sugar cane. <laughs> Oops, I used it all up to make candy, so that's that's not good. Um, oh, you know what? I can probably get some from the library, maybe if there's any uh, paper in the chest. But in any case, I guess I'm just gonna have to look around for some more sugarcane. Oh, this is so annoying. I really gotta make a sugarcane farm. Oh wait, I I did. I planted some actually. So let me go let me go see if it grew. I planted it just last episode, I think. So I'm not sure if it made much progress, but we can just see. Oh man, it barely grew. Is this even? Oh, it's obviously because of the uh, the season. Oh man, okay. We're gonna need to go just find some in the wild because it's gonna be impossible to grow this for another season or two. So hopefully there's some paper in the village. I could also check the neighboring village. I'm glad to see that Alexander's still alive. Let me go talk with him. Hi. He's depressed? What happened to you, buddy? <gasps> Widow! Widow! <laughs> what? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god! Who- who was his thing? Who was his, uh, uh, wife? Wait, what? Wait, he had two kids. I forgot who he married, but it doesn't even show up. She died. Oh, buddy, I'm so sorry. Oh god, um, I gotta give him something. Let me give him a flower. That is so sad. Dude, these villagers are just dying left and right. Okay, here you go, Alexander. I'm so sorry. You're allergic? Oh my freaking god, dude. <laughs> of course you are. But I got an achievement, I, I guess. That is so depressing. <gasps> Grover! Grover's a kid now, he's walking. Oh my gosh. Let me talk with him. Chat. Although other planes are plain, sometimes plain and simple are the best. Okay. So he's a toddler now. That's pretty interesting. I'm gonna give him a piece of bread. Hello. Why does he sound like he's already gone through puberty? I'm actually scared. Okay, he liked the bread. I think. <laughs> Let's go see if we can find any paper. Wait, we can make paper from tree bark. How do we make tree bark? <gasps> oh my gosh. We are doing this. Okay. I just need to cut some logs on a cutting board. That is so easy. Oh, and look, there's sugar cane right there. Okay, I'm actually going to harvest this. So we can plant it in our own farm. Whoa, beware of infection. Where did this come from? Okay, this is from uh, Minecraft Comes Alive, but I really have no idea how that appeared in my inventory. But I'm gonna put it away for now because I have so many books I need to put in the tower. Okay, so I have 35 logs. I need to make a cutting board. I'm not sure if I already have one or not. I'm just gonna check. Okay, I don't. I should probably work on my kitchen pretty soon because I have yet to do that. Let's go make a cutting board, which is really easy. And I'm gonna put it on top of this pumpkin. And let's just get some bark. Ooh, and it gives us the strip log too, so we actually don't waste it. Yay! Okay, so that gave us five bark, which we can make into one paper. Okay, so we're gonna need to do this for a little bit. Okay, five pieces of paper and I can make just need a little bit more. Oops. Okay, now this should be enough. Oh wait, no, I only needed eight because it's not- a okay, anyway. <laughs> oh, cardboard box. Check that out. Okay, there we go. Magic map is completed. Awesome. So, um, let me plant the sugar cane really quick so we can get it growing. 
Oh no! Not you again! Why do you keep appearing everywhere? You are so annoying. I seriously hate those things. Alright, we have a little bit more sugar cane going. I really gotta make a farm, but let's go to the Twilight Forest and activate this map. In the next episodes, we're gonna need to actually start gearing up a little bit, so <laughs> that's gonna be interesting. I should also start making like an enchanting table, but I, I don't really know where to put it, and also I lost myself. Okay, there it is. I was like, how did I lose the path? That is so stupid. Alright, let's see what happens when we activate this map. Let's do it right next to the portal. Oh! Ooh! Check that out! So this shows us like all the biomes we can go into. Um, and there's like bosses. Oh, there's like a lich close to us. Is that the Naga? Like down there? No, I think that's not the Naga. Because the Naga would be in the... Uh, maybe the one on the top left is the Naga. I'm not really sure, but... Yeah, we actually need to find the Naga too. But... Um, I think... That is basically everything I wanted to get done, and how is it already nighttime? Alright, let's go back to our bedroom and go sleep. So, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. I have so much to do. I think in the next episode, I'm gonna do a little bit more building and just get our... We need to get the basics situated. We, we still need to fix, like, the farming and the food and, like, the safety situation, for one thing. Um... There's a lot to do. But yeah, so guys, let me know what you want me to actually build for the sheep farm. Also, leave any suggestion for the, the Gorgagora girls, the mother and the daughter. And yeah, we got our new mushroom girls too. So we have Zara, Zelda, and Sparkle. And they're so cute. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this episode. I really hope you enjoyed this more peaceful and chill episode. Let me know what you think of the like more non-commentary sections of the videos and Spook is having a seizure in the background. <laughs> but anyway, all right guys, I will see you all later. Bye!